What's good, y'all? Chris of Ruckus Records going to give you a rundown on how to find or set the BPM of a beat on your Mixcraft 8 session. Now, when you first open Mixcraft 8, you're going to be brought to this window right here. What you want to do is you want to check Auto Beat Match. What that's going to do is it's basically going to allow Mixcraft to automatically detect the tempo and BPM of the beat or instrumental that you're throwing into this session. Now we're going to hit OK. Once we're brought to this window right here, what you want to do is you want to click and drag in the beat or instrumental that you're going to be recording to, preferably to the furthest left. Now what this box here is telling us is that Mixcraft has detected a tempo of 136 BPM. I know this to be true because I produced the beat that I'm using for this example. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Now sometimes when you throw in a beat, it's not going to be pushed back all the way to the left the way this one is. But that's no biggie. All you got to do is zoom in all the way. You know, your beat might look something like that or over here or, um, you know, in between here. Like I said, no biggie. Zoom in all the way. Drag it all the way to the left. Alright, next thing you want to do is you want to come down here to the sound tab. Click it. And you're going to run into these uh, red marks here. These are warp markers. Now what you want to do with these is you want to clear them. We're going to come up here, hit clear. Alright, we've taken care of that. Now you want to come in here. Zoom in all the way. And there's a red mark right here. I know you can't probably can't see it, but it's there. You want to grab it, drag it all the way to the left. Let's minimize this. All right, next thing we want to do is that we want to ensure that the session tempo is in sync with the beat tempo. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to hit M as a shortcut to hit the metronome, or we can simply come down here to the metronome icon, click it, and we want to check playback, which also shows us the shortcut. What this is doing is it's going to turn the metronome on and allow the metronome to play as the beat is playing. Alright, so we're going to hit OK. And now to check, we're going to play the beat with the metronome on and make sure that the metronome is in fact on beat. Let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, so as y'all could tell, uh, the metronome was hitting on beat, so we're good. Now it's very important to make sure that you set your session tempo from the get. You know, um, I don't know if y'all have ever tried throwing in a delay and have noticed that your delay isn't quite hitting with the beat or it's drifting off. This is more likely the reason why. This session time affects your effects like delays reverbs anything that has timing to it see this classic delay for example has this button sync so what that's doing is it's basically syncing the delay times that you see right here with the tempo of your session which is why it's important to make sure that you set this all right y'all have any questions be sure to drop them down in the comment section be sure to like subscribe and i'll be coming at y'all with more mixcraft tutorials soon later